All right. Hey, guys. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about CERN because I think a lot of people, uh, again, they're just clueless, clueless about what's going on. Okay. Now, this is from a higher perspective. So this isn't for any of you who are stuck on uh, physical 3D, what you can see, taste, uh, taste, touch, feel. This isn't for any of you. Okay. It's not for you. So if you are stuck in this low level of thinking, then just, I understand this practical pieces, you know, but this is, this is going to require a little more, a little more, uh, comprehension and a little more of you being connected to your, your being. Okay. So don't, there's my, there's my birthday and anniversary present there. Wind chimes I said to my husband, doesn't take much to make me happy. <laughs> I love wind chimes and all of my wind chimes broke so I need some new ones so my husband got me two two new wind chimes so I want to read this to you okay I want to read this to you the Large Hadron Collider at CERN the European Organization for Nuclear Research began its 2024 physics run on April 5th 2024 this was marked by the achievement of the first stable beams in 2024 for stable beams. They're lying, of course, it's not the first, but they're letting it go public, okay? For those of you that don't know what that means, um, I, I can't explain it to you here, uh, but yeah, let's keep going. The LHC's 2024 run will focus on proton-proton collisions to produce luminosity. Luminosity is light, okay? Light is the energy that fuels this planet, okay? I'm gonna keep going which is a key indicator of the accelerator's performance. The run will conclude with lead lead ion collisions with the first lead ion injected on October 6th, 2024. So this was October 6th, which was just a little while ago. Okay, remember I told you, oh, my nose is itchy. Remember I told you in my other video that CERN has just exponentially ramped up their, their efforts, okay? And it times in with all of this, okay? Why are they trying to create light? Well, for those that, that understand anything about what's happening on this planet, our light is rising and these forces that have been controlling the planet, these dark forces, they're losing their energy source, they're losing it, and they're trying to harness human light, okay, which is why they want to edit out our DNA and harvest all of this upgrading DNA, okay? I've talked about this in videos, so if you don't know what I'm talking about and you want to know, maybe go back and listen to some of my other videos, okay? So they are smashing particles together to try to make light, okay, because they need this light so that they can actually stay in in existence, stay in existence, I guess, because they're being short circuited. Okay, they're being short circuited. Their 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 day is over. Their day is over, and their force, uh, the source that feeds them, so the force that they're connected to, is this artificial intelligence um, cyborg type of energy. Okay, and it's it doesn't originate from this planet. Okay, so it's. It's not a native, it's not a native energy source to this planet, okay? And it is, it is very dark. And now I'm not using the word, oh my gosh, my nose is itchy. I'm not using the term dark to say that dark is bad and light is good, okay? We know that dark and light are the polar, you know, expressions on, on this planet. What I'm talking about in terms of light, meaning our light being is what's, you know, coming into this world much more rapidly now. And this dark force, which is uh, they don't want people to know about their light. They don't want people to know about this light. Okay, so they have tricked people and convinced people um, to think that we don't have any light and that we have to rely on religious figures and stuff like that um, to, to get light. That's why they're called the light of the world or light being or um, Christ. That's what Christ means. Christ is light, right? Christ is the sun. Helios Christos. Okay, Christ is the sun. So we have this within us and we're connected to it, okay? And CERN is trying to smash particles together and do all sorts of stuff. CERN does other things too, okay? This is just one thing that they do. Um, and, you know, they're desperate, okay? They're absolutely desperate and they are ramping things up exponentially, 
exponentially. Okay, and I think they're doing it 10 times more till 2030. Okay, so they are fucking desperate. Okay, and ask yourself why, 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 right? Why? What are they doing? Who, who, who would see fit to do this? Who, who would think this is okay? Who would think this is a good idea? Who would think this is a good idea? Crazy people. Crazy people. Okay? Crazy people. And of course, Israel is a huge, huge partner and contributor to CERN. Okay? So, as is United States, as is other countries as well. But what I'm saying is let's just look at what's going on in the Middle East right now. And for any of you that know anything about history of the Middle East, and especially more spiritual, ancient history about portals, stargates, and all that stuff, this starts to make a lot more sense. Because without that understanding, it's very easy to stay trapped in the narratives, okay? But once you start to understand about that area, that landmass, okay, and the significance of it, yeah, it puts things into perspective and it makes things a lot more clear, okay, because everything else is just a story to distract us from the truth, okay, so this is huge, okay, this is huge, and the powers that be in any country at all don't care about the people, they don't care about their people. They don't care about their own people that live in their own country. They don't care. Okay, I'm going to say that again. They don't care at all. As a matter of fact, it's the opposite. Not only do they not care, but they actively do things to harm. Okay, and we see that clearly in our own country as well. Okay, so this is what's going down. Okay. CERN is out of control. Every major com um, country in the world supports it, okay? They're all in on it. They're all in on it, all right? So don't get distracted by the little crumbs that people are throwing you. It's all distractions. Remember who you are. Get in touch with your own inner light because things are about to go boom, okay? And... When the dust settles, let's see where we're at. Let's see if we're still here. Because it's going to be very, very interesting, okay? Because there's, there's, there's a new guard in town, okay? And things are changing on this planet. And the forces that are leaving are really desperate. They are really, really desperate, okay? And... I've talked about a vision that I had many, many years ago. And again, I, I take everything that I see when I have a vision, I take everything as neutral. And I don't, I don't walk around putting it out there going, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, or this is, this, is, this is what's going on. It's just, this is the perception that I had. And if this is accurate, great. If it's not accurate, then... I hope that I get steered towards something that is more accurate. But the vision that I had many, many, many years ago was that our reality, okay, our Earth uh, solar system, it could have been solar system, it's probably the solar system, was literally disconnected from our main power grid, okay, from like our motherboard, like our mainframe. And we were kind of hurled off into like a quarantined area. And through magnetism, we were being drawn, magnetism of the universe, of the, the cosmos, actually, the galaxy. We were being brought back to this motherboard. We are being brought back. Um, and there are some people that say that we are moving into an entirely different band in the, I don't know, again, our solar system is moving in into an entirely different band in the galaxy. We're moving and shifting. So that's another thing that NASA keeps track of. And again, when I say NASA, you know, their space thing is fake. Basically what I mean is that that's just where they get people to focus. Um, I don't believe anybody ever went to the moon and I don't believe, I don't believe in any of the shit that they say. Okay. But I do know that they are monitoring things. They are monitoring things. Okay. So they've been monitoring what's been going on with our planet. 
um, and I believe that we are being pulled back up. Some people call this the galactic center, uh, some of the people in kind of the spiritual communities, um, and that does kind of resonate with me, um, that we are being magnetized back to this galactic center and we're being locked back into it. Kind of like when you watch those movies and the pods, right? The pods go off and they come back to the main ship and they, right? They, they come back into the ship and they join back on with it. And that is what I sensed and felt many, many, many years ago. And it was really a very powerful vision that I had. And it was this deep sense of, wow, like this is, this is intense stuff. Like this is really, really, really intense stuff. And, and again, I've always, I've always had this sense. So as this happens, that magnetism and energy is so strong. And as our light increases, we are going to be able to merge with this light energy and those that can't won't. So it's, it's going to get booted out. It's just not going to be part of it. Not going to be part of it. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And it's okay if it doesn't make sense. I'm not asking you to believe this. Okay, I'm not asking you to believe this. And the it wasn't the last vision that I had, but it, it was right before lockdown. I think. I don't know. Time flies. It was either right before Trump or right before lockdown. I, I can't really remember, but I remember being in the bathtub and I get into the tub and I literally just laid back. I wasn't even in the tub more than like two seconds. I got in the tub, I laid back and I just closed my eyes and instantly what I saw was this energy that was like this. And if I had to describe it, it would be like the digital or pixels, um, just all these little dots and colors and just this energy that was really chaotic and all over the place and it makes me think of like again the digital or you know pixels that type of thing and what i saw on the other side they to me they look like huge triangle shapes they look like huge triangle shaped spaceships but i'm not saying that's what they were it's just that's kind of what they look like and they were humongous they were humongous and they were coming in slow and steady like this. And there were, there was fleets of them. Like I, it, it, it was huge and I knew it. I knew it. Like I could feel it in my being. Like this was massive. And all of this energy was like chaotic and, and bumping in all over the place. And it was literally just steamrolling it. It was dissolving it. It was just completely dissolving it. And this was before I ever thought of it in those terms. This was before I ever really put those pieces together and I was just like what the heck and and again it was just it was one of those surreal moments where I knew in my being without a doubt that something really profound was happening and it was like boom it that just like restarted me again it like kind of kicked me back alive kicked me back awake kicked me back into um, some places that I had packed away a little bit because it was just really just too difficult to keep carrying every day. It's having this knowledge and functioning every day can be really difficult when you got to take your kid to homeschooling groups and you don't connect with any of them except for like one or two people. It's very crazy. It's crazy. It's been crazy for me to try to live in this world. Um, everywhere I go, like everywhere I go, and then I meet people and I think we're connected. And then all of a sudden I find out that we're not. And it's just, that's just been kind of the story of my life. So um, to don't go around, uh, you know, I don't go around trying to convince anybody of any of this stuff. You know, I just, I'll, if I think somebody is open-minded to it, I'll, I'll mention it. Um, but what I have found is that most people, um, you know, are really, really stuck on their beliefs and, uh, you know, it's hard for them to consider something else. So, and some people have been open though, you know, every now and then I, I meet someone who's really, really open to it and that's beautiful and that's great. And these people are still in my life actually. So, you know, that's always a good thing, but that was one of, one of the most profound things. And then I've had other things happen as well. Okay, but those are, you know, and I, I've talked in other videos about experiences where I've seen like what I thought was like an electric curtain ever since I was a child. And again, it was what this digital pixelated thing looked and felt like in that vision. And I'd seen that 
all the time in my life. I'd actually seen it. Like I would look outside and I would see it. I would, I would see that pixelated, look like an electrical veil. And I always knew that the real reality was just behind that, that that was just like artificial and it was like fucking everybody up. And it was just programming people. It's like this energy was like programming people. And I always knew it. So, yeah. So CERN is up to no good, okay? And they're ramping up their, their efforts exponentially. Uh, but things are changing on this planet. And the more you get in touch with your light, the more quickly it's going to happen, okay? So by you not remembering who you are and you not returning to your source light is just delaying everything. So get busy, all right? Signing out.